How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna do how to increase the endurance for push-ups. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I do appreciate um, the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So to increase your endurance for push-ups, you need to go on a push-up program or a push-up routine. Now, people that are trying to do more push-ups in a row, I'll just let you know, the most push-ups I've ever done in a row is 105 in a row. They were proper push-ups. Um, my chest touched the ground every single rep. I know a lot of people that do high, high amounts of push-ups. They'll do like half push-ups. They won't actually, in my opinion, a full push-up is when you come all the way down and your chest touches the floor. That is a complete push-up in my opinion. Just like when you're bench pressing, the bench has to touch the chest completely for it to be a complete rep. I've done five, I've done five powerlifting competitions, so I know about proper form. Um, and powerlifting competitions are extremely strict form, you guys. So that's kind of how I train, really, really strict form. And when I did the push-ups, 105 push-ups, um, that's when I was training for push-ups. In my opinion, if you don't train for them, it's very hard to just out of nowhere do 100 push-ups in a row. It's almost impossible in my opinion. Like if I were to do push-ups right now, I actually tried about a week ago to see how many I could do in a row and I got 60. I had 60 reps in a row. Considering I never do push-ups anymore, like never, um, push-ups do require technique. So if you go a long period of time without doing them, your technique isn't going to be as good and then you're not going to be able to do as many in a row. With endurance, the proper program you may think would be to be doing the push-ups every single day. That's not good. Any muscle group, doesn't matter what you're doing, needs at least one day or 24 hours of rest. Um, so if you do Monday at 12, I would wait, sorry, not 24 hours, 48 hours. So if you do Monday at 12, I would do Wednesday at 12. 48 hours of rest, in my opinion, is the best for developing muscle, for developing endurance. So really, really important, give yourself at least 48 hours. So every other day you can train your pushups. Now, when doing the pushups, you don't wanna be doing the pushups. Um, you don't wanna be doing the same routine. You don't wanna be doing the same number of pushups when you are doing them. So I recommend doing a volume day and doing an intensity day. Uh, rotate how you do them. So Monday you do volume, Wednesday intensity, Friday volume, and just keep rotating them back and forth, back and forth. Now on your volume day, the whole point of volume day is just to accumulate the total number of repetitions. Your intensity day is to see how many in a row you can do. So on your volume day, you don't wanna do as many as you can in a row. Why? Because what'll happen is your first set, you're gonna be destroyed. If you do your max amount of pushups, you're gonna be destroyed. You probably won't have any energy to do anymore. So let's say you can do 40 pushups in a row. On your volume day, you do sets of 10. That's right, do 20 sets of 10, 200 total pushups in a row. Then your intensity day, you're gonna to try to beat that 40 uh, reps in a row. Chances are when you first start off, you're gonna be beating it every single time you do the intensity day. After a while, you're not going to beat it, which is fine. Every single time you do that volume day, your total number, it doesn't matter how many you do per set, it doesn't matter how many sets you do, how many reps you do per set. The only thing that matters in the volume day is the total number of pushups you did. So if you do 200 on Monday, on Friday, you should do 202 or 203. Every day, your number of pushups should be increasing. So end of video. Thank you so much for watching.